I think this is probably one of the most important parts of the recording experience. It's uh, uh, donuts. And I can't do this all on my own But I kinda do And I'll show you how At the Triple Llama I can't write a song So today's the day. It's our first official recording retreat. And I've picked up the important ingredients, non-caffeinated sodas. In the care and feeding of a producer, you want to make sure that you get them as close as possible. Do you prefer to soda balance that they need? Before I pick up Joseph, I'm going to also stop at Donut Palace. We see the producer as he approaches in the forest of his native environment. Look at him as he artfully dodges the lead puddles. Getting ready to start recording, and he is connecting up all this equipment. We're also getting ready to set up a little ability to film so that we can share with everybody a little bit more about this magical experience of making music together. I was very close and far in, but I can't, I, the drums keep changing. Okay. And they, they shift into some weird pattern and I, I'm not used to it. It just throws me a little. I can fix it. I was probably two thirds in. You said you like something a little bit faster? that we just did, the second one, it feels like the ending was different? Yes. I thought that you needed more guitar ending because I didn't feel like the other track had the guitar ending the right way. I don't know that there's a right It ending. didn't seem right for the song. It was really cool. I don't know, because I'm an intuitive player. You haven't picked up any ambient noise that would be problematic. No, I don't think so. It's like, how am I gonna get back into this? Look at you. Look at you making it work. What are we doing here? Well, I am getting us some video footage of the producer because the camera seems to be on me, and nobody gets to see all of the glory that is Joseph's territory over here. And there's the magic music hat right in the corner where it belongs. Oh, oh, wait, I don't know what it is, but it's over there. This one? This one, what you're talking Yeah, that one over there. That's an M Audio Fast Track. It is a very small version of this. This. And then this is just to capture what we're doing. I'm <clears> using <throat> my audio interface to power the microphone that is here which is capturing is this thing video. On? Is this thing on? We've already done the guitar track. We just did the vocal track. We actually did two versions, one on the condenser mic and then one on the dynamic, the dynamic mic. All right, are we ready? We're gonna do some harmonic tracks? I think we're ready. Okay. We've got a camera down! A camera is down! Give that a try. God, that sounds good. Is that good level-wise? Yeah, and then I just keep this play all the way through and you can just take whatever you like, right? You 
got enough to work with? I'm only worried about my nose breathing. What do you think? Do we think we got the bones? What's your confidence level in these bones versus the last bones? I feel very good about it. Okay, good. Should we have me do some on maybe some of the... I don't know, you want to. Why not try? Do you know what you would do for harmony if you were gonna do it? I'd have to, I mean, that's all by ear. I'd have to hear it. I've never wrote a song with myself before. Probably not the whole song, right? Or would you just have me go ahead and harmonize with myself all the way through it and then grab the parts that made sense? Yeah, I would say do whatever you want. Funny how time moves fast and slow. It's funny how love can grow and grow to fill up all those hollow, empty space. Is that decent? I don't know. <laughs> I can't I do mean, this. Can, can you, can you hear? I don't know what the harmony sounds like, but I'm just, I've never harmonized to myself or this song. It's funny how time moves fast and slow. It's funny how love can grow and grow to fill up all the hollow, empty space. I think we got some stuff there. This is fun. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is so cool. How they grow. Yeah, that's what. Oh yeah. Doing. It's all three vocals. From the two different microphones? The dynamic, the condenser, and the harmony. Oh my goodness. All at the same time. I'm the Beach Boys! <laughs> this is great, dude. You can duplicate these over and over into a choir. Yeah. That's amazing, dude. <laughs> What's the number one secret to making a hit song? Most producers Working with Joseph Kamen. Look at how much song we've already built. Okay, I think we did it. What do you think, Joseph? I think a triumph has been had. I think a triumph has been had along with several donuts and possibly a few tacos. I think we have the bones for Look What We Made. And um, I think we got a meditation song out of it too. It's beautiful and I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it, but I can't wait to find out. For those of you who played along with us while we had our hijinks, you'll be able to look for the song sometime in the next I don't know, sometime maybe in a month or so we'll see it out in the world and uh, you'll hear about it while it's being put together. Plug your studio again. What's your studio? This wasn't actually the studio because we didn't actually work out this did. We wandered. We, you wandered the llama into Cornelius. We merged. It was like the cathedral and the llama. It's true. This was the Triple Llama Studios. It's Skull's Cathedral. And I had fun. You had fun? Alright. Can't wait to do it again. <laughs>